Mepa is one of the towns that have been devastated by the dam spillage. If you come here in person, you will know the extent of damage here. One of the major challenges here is educational. We'd want to tell the story and know what the plans are for the township. Over 300 teachers from Volta and Oti regions have been displaced with over 70 schools closed and thousands of students affected. Educational activities in Mepa have nearly stalled with voluntary teaching and learning as the only hope. 20-year-old Getri Nuchukui, an SHS graduate of the Akachi Senior High School, was motivated to help students who were wasting their time due to their predicament despite not being a professional teacher. By eight, I gather the young ones, three years and four years below. They are within nursery and cages, so I handle them first. And when they are on break, then I, I teach those of the upper primary as basic one, two, and three. Over the past week, her pupils have grown from 6 to 63. Gertrude is responsible for the lower primary, while Koku handles the upper primary. The Education Ministry is currently using this as an immediate measure to address MEPER's educational challenges. What we need to do is to facilitate that process short term okay, sure. so that they don't lose out. So now we're going to Accra, we're going to bring teaching and learning materials, bringing books and other things that they need so that at least they, they can get some instruction going. But for educationists at MEPE, the decision is not satisfactory. They, they, they truly be lying to us. It's a fallacy. If there could be any other thing that they should, they should plan for, yes. But say that you gather children to be teaching them under the trees. No. This community, about 10,000 students and gathering about 120, saying that they are doing voluntary teaching. So how many voluntary teaching that will happen at a place that will even be okay? The education minister predicts that once the opportunity for voluntary teaching and learning is created, the over 10,000 students at MEPA will likely attend. I don't think there's any parent here who don't want to have their children at least learning to take their mind off the tragedy. So I believe what we need to do is to begin to look at bringing the teaching and learning materials and then the communication will step in for parents to come and take advantage of the opportunity that we are presenting short term. In a presentation of 150,000 CDs by the Ghana National Association of Teachers, NAT, together with the Teachers Fund to promote educational activities in the town, residents appealed for more support to restore their once thriving town. The association expects a clear roadmap from government to restore the educational prospects of the flat hit town. Whatever all of us can do to bring relief to the victims, we shouldn't hesitate at all. Let me use this opportunity to call on other philanthropists, NGOs, unions and associations to do everything within our power to relieve the victims in Vota and Uti region. George Quinnin, TV3 News, Mepe.